Welcome to The Hair Loss Show. Dr. Russell Knudsen and Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash discuss issues relating to hair loss and the medical and surgical treatment of hair loss in both men and women. Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode six of the video podcast, The Hair Loss Show. I'm Dr. Russell Knudsen. And I'm Dr. Vikram Jayaprakash. Welcome to the show. So last time, people, we were talking about blocker therapy for men with hair loss, male pattern baldness. And so we'll just talk about the alternative now, the other pathways of treatments that a lot of people uh, try. Actually, more people are in the stimulation pathway than are in the blocking pathway. So just to remind you what we talked about, we have blocker therapy, which is target specific. Okay, so if we talk about blockers in men with hair loss, the major treatment that's been available for the last 20 years is called finasteride, which blocks the enzyme, remember? There is a newer version, which actually is a slightly more powerful version called jutasteride, that's been available now for about eight years. So these are the two blocker therapies target specific. The other therapies that I said are stimulators. And basically what I'm talking about with stimulators are things that aren't necessarily drugs, but are treatments that actually encourage the hair to be stronger and to resist shrinking from any cause. Okay, so these are stimulation therapies that you can use for any cause of hair loss. So the one that's been around the longest in Australia for the last 30 years is called Minoxidil, which is, we're going to talk about in a little bit more detail, bought over the counter at the chemist. Uh, Then we're going to talk about something that we're going to call low-level laser therapy, basically, which is a red light therapy, red light meaning the specific wavelength of the therapy. It works through a different pathway to minoxidil, but does stimulate um, hair growth. We're also going to talk about platelet-rich plasma, which we're going to call PRP. I'll explain that in more detail. There's a lot of publicity about this newer treatment. Uh, as a natural therapy, we'll discuss that. And we'll also discuss something that works in a similar manner, which is called micro needling of the scalp. Okay, so the beauty of the first two is they're non invasive. The PRP and the micro needling are slightly invasive. Effectively, these are the commonest things that people are using these days. Yeah. So uh, can I borrow the pen? So essentially, we talked about on a previous uh, podcast that um, certainly in androgenic alopecia, you've got testosterone, it gets converted into dihydrotestosterone. uh, And that the if you've got lots of that in the system, that's what causes miniaturization. And there's an enzyme called the um, 5 alpha reductase. Now, what we're saying here is that this is the these are your treatment options. Blockers, what they do is they target this enzyme, they target this process. Stimulators don't necessarily target this process, they're actually stimulating hair growth. So they work in different ways. So you can combine therapies, and we will talk about that in more detail, but you know, it's not that one is better than the other, or vice versa, you can you know, uh, use combinations of uh, various different things. But what we thought we'd do is just spend a few minutes outlining what the available treatments are that we have found, you know, that are of benefit. And we'll talk about those one at a time. So historically, most people who come to see us have already tried one of these stimulator therapies. More than half the patients that come to us have tried stimulator therapies before. The other half come in cold for want of a better word, not having tried anything. And then we talk about the relative benefits of blockers versus the relative benefits of stimulators and let the patient decide what is the combination or the solo therapy they want to try. Mm -hmm. So in the next few uh, video podcasts, we're going to briefly describe for you the four stimulators, how they work and where they fit into the big picture. I hope that you'll stick around for those and watch those next episodes because you'll find them very, very interesting. So it's goodbye from me. Yeah, and we'll see you on episode seven. Thank you very much.